Hi everyone! So today we are now in week 1 of the first quarter and our lesson is about divisibility rules for 2, 5, 10, and 3, 6, and 9. Let's watch this! The first lesson in grade 5 mathematics is about divisibility rule by 2, 5, and 10. First, what is divisibility? From the word divisible, ba? So, ibig sabihin, we will divide. Means that after dividing, there will be no remainder. Let us study the problem. Justin bought a big bag of candy at a warehouse store. There are 240 pieces of candy in the bag. Justin needs to divide the candy up into smaller bags. He wants to put the same number of pieces in each small bag. How many small bags could Justin use? Bago natin yung solve ang problem, let us remember the following. A whole number is divisible by 2. If the one's digit is even, ano ba yung mga even numbers? When a number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. Then 5. If the one's digit is a 0 or 5. And 10. If the one's digit is a 0. Tingnan natin. A number 240 ends in 0. So, classify natin if it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. So, 0, it is an even number, therefore, divisible by 2. 5, so, 0 and 5 dapat, diba? So, meaning divisible by 5. And automatic, since a number is end, ending in 0, it is divisible by 10. Therefore, 240 is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. And also, the common factors of 240 are 2, 5, and 10. Another example natin, 983. Ending digit is 3. Is it divisible by 2? Of course, no. Because 3 is an odd number. Another example, 1055. Ending digit is 5. Is it divisible by 5? Yes. Therefore, 5 is also the common factor of 1055. Pwede nating i-divide sa 5 and also kapag may nag-multiply tayo, pwede nating gamitin ng isang factor na 5 para maging sagot is 1,055. So based on our learning task sa module natin, answer the following questions with a yes or no. Is 238 divisible by 2? So the answer is? Yes. Why? Because 8 is an even number. So, kapag dinefine natin, 8 divided by 2 plus 4. Number 2 question. Is 660 divisible by 5? The answer is yes. Is 530 divisible by 10? Answer is yes, because it ends in zero. So, based on our learning task 3, copy the given table in your notebook, put a check number under each column to identify whether each number is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Take note of this, pwedeng dalawa, tatlo, pwedeng isa lang ang maging sagot ng given number. Example natin, 548. Sa 2, 5, and 10, kung divisible, titignan lang natin yung last digit. So, 8. So, 8 is an even number. Therefore, divisible by 2. So, is it divisible yung 8 sa 5? Of course, hindi siya ends ng 0 and 10, 5. So, it is not divisible. And then, 10. So, it is also not divisible. Diba? So, ang chachakan lang natin is 2. about number 2? 912. And then the digit natin is 2. Is it divisible by 2, 5, and 10? So, 2 lang. Yan lang mag-check natin. How about number 3? 
270 ends in 0. Tulad ng example natin kanina, kapag ang number nagtatapos sa 0, automatic it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. So, number 4 and 5, pakigawa sa inyong mga papel. Learning task for naman. Select appropriate numbers divisible by 2, 5, and 10. So, divisible by 2 tayo. Pwede natin bilukan in circle. So, hanapin natin yung mga even numbers ang last digit. Pwede natin yung 160. O, yung 105 ba? Even number ba yan? So, hindi. Hindi natin bilukan. Itong 260. Okay. And, pakihanap na rin yung iba nyo. Ah, divisible by 2. And also, divisible by 5. So, diba, dapat ending digit niyan ay 0 and 5. So, ang sample natin, 360. Pakagawa na yung ibang dapat sasagotan dito. Learning task 4. Select appropriate numbers be divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Ito, 5, uh, divisible by 10 lang. So, hanapin natin kung lahat, diba? And then, 2, 5, 10, yung lahat, automatic. Pwede sa 2, 5, and 10. So, meaning, dapat ang hanapin natin, ending in 0. So, ano lang ba yung mga number na ending in 0? Yan, yung 450, 270, and kay na magpatuloy sa susunod pang mga numbers. So, we are through in divisibility rule by 2, 5, 10. So, divisibility rules 4, 3, 6, and 9. Kung ang 2, 5, and 10 is ending number, sa so 3, 6, and 9 naman, ano kaya ang magiging rule natin? Let us study the problem. So, Hannah's garden has 126 sunflower plants. She wants to arrange them by group of 3, 6, and 9. Nine. Is it possible kaya na yan ay maging pwedeng di, uh, arrange by 3, by 6, and by 9? Let us find out. So, can she arrange it? Ang rule natin by 3, if the sum of the digits are divisible by 3. So, when we say sum, we will add the digit. So, kung ang given number is 126, add lang natin. 1 plus 2, 3. Plus 6 equals 9. So, kung na ang sum daw ay divisible. So, let us divide 9 divided by 3. So, sabi natin divisible, walang, walang remainder. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So, may remainder ba? Wala. So, therefore, 126 is divisible by 3. Pwede natin i-arrange ang sum flower by 3. Next. So, by 6 tayo. When it is both divisible by 2 and 3. So, check na natin ng 3. And then, 126. Diba? 106 ang ending digit. Is it divisible by 2? Of course, dahil even number. So, kapag nag-satisfy ang 2 and 3, automatic, a number is divisible by 6. Na, last. Some of the digits are divisible by 9. So, masasabi natin na ang number pwede divide sa 9 kung ang sum of the digits natin ay pwede divide sa 9. So, again, i-add natin 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals 9. And then, if you are going to divide it by 9, ang magiging sagot natin is 1. So, dahil walang remainder, meaning 126 is divisible by 9. Katulad din ng 2, 5, and 10, kapag pwede siyang i-divide, meaning those numbers are also the common factors. So, 126 are divisible, is divisible by 2, 6, and 10. Nine. And also, the common factors of 126 are 2, 6, and 9. So, lagi natin tatandaan a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 3. Now, if a number is divisible both by 2 and 3, it is divisible by 6. And a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of all the digits of the number is divisible by 9 or a multiple of 9. Let's have another example, 108. So, since 3, 6, and 9 yan, kailangan natin i-add ang digits. 
So, 1 plus 0 plus 8 equals 9. So, kung 9, divide natin sa 3. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So, therefore, 108 is divisible by 3. Of course, yes. How about 6? Is it divisible by 6? So, nasatisfy natin ng 3. Tingnan natin ang ending number is 8. So, even number ba siya? So, kung even number yan, nasatisfy natin ng 2. Therefore, it is divisible by 6. How about 9? Is it divisible by 9? So, sum of the digits divided by 9 equals 1. So, therefore, divisible din siya sa 9. Okay. So, if the numbers are divisible by 3, 6, and 9, again, it is also the common factors. So, 108, the common factors are 3, 6, and 9. Okay. So, tingnan natin itong learning task 3. Copy the table below in your notebook. Then, classify the given numbers to the appropriate code. So, gawin natin yung 1 and 2 lang. So, 1,128. Let us add. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Plus 2 equals 4. Plus 8 equals 12. So, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So, therefore, divisible by 3. How about 6? When it is both divisible by 2 and 3, eh, pwede na kay 3. Tingnan natin. Pwede ba siya kay 2? So, ending na digit niya is 8. Of course, yes. How about 9? Sum of the digits is 12 divided by 9. So, cannot be. Hindi natin siya isusulat sa divisible by 9. Next tayo. 2,101. Let us add the digit. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Plus 1 equals 4. Is it divisible by 3? No. Of course, kung hindi masasatisfy ang divisible by 3, hindi rin siya pwede kay 6. At kung 4 yan, dinivide natin sa 9, cannot be, di ba? So, hindi rin siya pwede kay 9. So, X, di na natin siya isusunod. So, ganun pare-pareho natin gagawin hanggang maubos ang lahat ng given numbers. Ayan. So, number 1 is done for Learning task 4 naman, which of the numbers in the boxes are divisible by the number on the left? Okay. So, yung left, 3. So, alin, alin daw dito ang mga divisible by 3? So, check natin. 2 plus 7 equals 9. So, 9 divisible by 3. Pwede natin yan check. Bilugan. Next, add the digit. 3 plus 5, 8. Plus 2 equals 10. So, 10 divided by 3, may remainder. So, cannot be. 411. 4 plus 1 plus 1 equals 6. So, 6 is divisible by 3. So, in circle. 702. Let us add. 7 plus 2 equals 9. So, divisible by 3. 526. 5 plus 2. 7 plus 6 equals 13. Is it divisible by 3? Of course, no. So, hindi natin bibilogan. So, number 1 is done for you. Kayo na ang bahalang na magtuloy ng pagsasagot sa 2, 3, and 4. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear Road to 2,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Carmi, and don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye!